that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one by a friend who wanted a coffee table and stumbled on this cute picture on Pinterest and said she wanted to use Dollar Tree items. And the first thing that I thought of were Dollar Tree frames. Now, because her space is not that big, I'm going to be using smaller frames for this project. And then if you want to recreate it, you can use bigger frames. Now I'm going to go ahead and prep the frames for the DIY by removing the parts that I don't need It is important to keep some of the glass because that's going to be used in this project as well. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be making boxes with the frames and I'm going to be holding them together with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. Now the fourth frame that I have here didn't really sit well with me. I want something more shiny at the top, so I switched it up for something else, like this one. The Dollar Tree branch that I went to didn't have enough of squared frames that I would have loved to use for this project. That's why I had to use a different type of frame at the bottom and then something else at the top. I would have preferred the one at the top because it has more squared edges, but I'm just gonna use that as the one that's gonna be at the top for all the boxes. So if you wanna make yours, you're gonna enjoy this process much better if you use all squared frames. I still love how this looks. Now I'm gonna make four of these and keep them aside. The larger box that will be at the middle, I'll be using a different set of frames. Now I got these frames from Walmart because the Dollar Tree brand that I went to, again, did not have 8x10, which I am very sure that a lot of other branches have them. So you can get these also from the Dollar Tree. Because I use white frames, I'm going to take this out and spray paint it gold. small frame boxes had some sides that were black, so I'm going to take them out and spray paint those sides gold as well. I will use the strong metallic iron that's inside here to hold all the boxes together to give the coffee table a sturdy shape.
Now what I did, because this was really hard for me to cut, I took it to an auto body shop and nicely asked one of the workers there to help me cut it down to the size that I want. And the good thing that he did was after he cut the pieces for me, he helped me file them at both ends to make it safe enough for me to use. What I have is not only strong, but it also has provisions for screws. That got me really excited because I don't have to drill the holes myself. Now when I was done, I cleaned them and I took them out and spray painted them gold. The next thing I'll do is arrange all the frame boxes the way I want them to be before attaching the iron. After positioning the boxes like this, I changed my mind and turned them the other way, just to make it wider. If you look closely on this side, I already have a provision for the screw. This will be attached to the frame. Now on the other side, I noticed that the provision that I have here is kind of off. So I have to make another hole somewhere here. These are the screws that I'll be using to attach the iron to the frames. And I got the screws from Home Depot. I'm going to be attaching the smaller boxes to the large box that's in the middle. I used one screw at first on each side, but then I later changed my mind and used two. I had four cutouts, so I used two at the bottom and two at the top on opposite sides. Having that together with the attachment that I made in the middle made this overall coffee table super strong. I'll be using the glass that I removed from one of the large frames and then four glass from the other four small frames. I cleaned them and took them out and I spray painted just one side of it with a black spray paint and that gave me an effect that I wanted on the opposite side. It's shiny. And I've used this method a lot of times for a lot of my projects. And I always love the end results. I'm using a strong adhesive to attach this to the frames. And I'm going to leave it overnight to dry. Now here's what the coffee table looks like. This is so pretty. Now because I needed more reflection from the coffee table, I decided to glue two glass together to make it long enough to cover up the sides that I wanted to cover. Now you can use a long glass if you have one that is the same size that you want to cover. Now this is what it looks like with the glass on top of it. And this is what it looks like side by side with the one with no extra glass. And you can see that the one with the glass has more reflection. Like I said earlier, squared frames will give you a much better finish. But I'm just going to make do with what I had from the store. And it's from the Dollar Tree. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.